what's inside your box. We have the R1818 Wi-Fi UPS, three adapters, two extender cables, one splitter cable, and one power supply. Before you connect your Wi-Fi UPS to your router, you need to know whether your router is a 12 volt, a 9 volt, or a 5 volt. The easiest way to find this out is to pull out your power supply, have a look at the bottom of the unit, and it will tell you the output is 12 volts. In this situation, we have a 12 volt, so it's nice and easy. Connecting an LTE or single router to your Wi-Fi UPS is easy. This router is a 9 volt router. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my extension cable and I'm going to put it into the 9 volt port of the Wi-Fi UPS. I will then take the existing power supply out of the router and I will replace that with my extension cable. Then I press the power button to turn on the Wi-Fi UPS. You will see it is in battery mode. And then we simply plug the power supply into the back of the unit. The light will change to AC. And we are done. Connecting your R1818 to a fiber connection. With a fiber connection, you have two devices, your Wi-Fi router and your ONT. You need to confirm whether your router and ONT are 12 volts, 9 volts, or 5 volts. You can do this by checking the power supply. If you look at the back of the power supply, you will see it'll tell you whether it's a 12 volt, a 9 volt, or a 5 volt. In this situation, we have a 12 volt router and a 12 volt ONT. This is a simple connection and in most cases, this is what you would do. To connect a 12 volt connection, you use the splitter cable and you put that in the 12 volt port. Onto the splitter cable, you would add an extension cord. This one extension would go to your ONT. You would take the second extension and add it to your splitter cable. This will go then to your router and power your devices. You press the power button on the front of the device and release when the battery light comes on. The device is now in battery mode. To provide normal power, you attach it to its power supply, and as soon as you do that, it changes from battery mode to AC mode. Connecting the R1818 to fiber when your router is a 9 volt and your ONT is a 12 volt is a little bit different. If the 12 volt ONT you take an extension cable and plug it into the 12 volt port and that gets plugged into the back of the ONT. And then you take your five, or sorry, your nine volt and plug that into the back of your router. This is to charge a 12 volt ONT and a nine volt router. Press the power button to activate battery mode. This will allow you to have power during load shedding. You need to plug your device into a main power supply and it will change over from battery to city power. We have one last connection. And then we'll do a rundown of all the different ports on the device. You'll see we have a PoE connection 
We use the PoE for mostly your rain routers. If you see on the back of your rain router, you have a network cable like this that powers the device. You simply unplug it from its adapter and plug it into the PoE port. Please ensure that when you've plugged it into the port that you change the voltage to 15 volts for the rain routers unless they require a 24 but most of them are a 12 volt. This will power your uh, rain router as they are powered over Ethernet PoE. Let's do a quick rundown on your device. On the front of your device or the top of the device you have a power button. Pressing and holding this button will activate the battery. On the front here we have an output, AC, battery mode and then your battery level. On the back of the unit we have your input power supply. This is the port that charges your UPS. You have a 12 volt barrel connector, a 9 volt barrel connector, a 5 volt barrel connector and a 5 volt 2.5 amp USB A connector. We also have PoE and LAN ports. The LAN port here does not transfer data and then you have your power selector for your two LAN ports. And that's the rundown on your device. Thank you for your purchase and we hope you have many days of uninterrupted power supply on your internet.